Suspension is a bit stiff. Would you look at that creep Gomez sucking up to the chief by carrying him around the office? I really appreciate this, Gomez. It's pitiful to see a grown man act like that. I'm gonna put a stop to it right away. Good for you, Mort. <laughs> That's the right way to treat bootlickers, Mort. Ah, Mort? You see, Gomez, Mr. L prefers to be carried around like what? this. He's much more comfortable oh. now. You're just useless. <laughs> Mort, I don't believe it. You've turned into a yes man. Yes. Fetch me a coffee. Would you? Yes, sir. Good man. Oh, I know what he's doing. He's going to ask the chief for a raise. <laughs> Here's your coffee, oh generous one. Now I'll put some sugar in for you. Now. Oh, no. The packet has burst and there's sugar spilled everywhere. It's gone through my pocket, down my trouser leg, and into my shoe. I thought I heard a crunching noise just now. Oh, well, waste not, want not. Huh? There's no spoon, but you don't mind if I use my finger, do you? I'll just make huh? sure it's not too hot. <laughs> Yep, it's ready for you. Just watch out for that fly that fell in there. It's going to the bottom car! somewhere. Ow! Ow! There! That's a waste of good coffee. Wow! Get it yourself next time. Mr. L! Huh? Mr. L! This has been an awful catastrophe. My laboratory. Oh, I see you've got your hands full. I'll wait until you're finished. All right, now what have you broken? Uh, no, no, it's nothing like that. Somebody's broken into my laboratory and stolen my latest invention. It was fabulous, quite extraordinary. Well, what was it? A toothbrush for huh. chickens? Some Glasses for sheep? No, no, no. It was my human photocopying machine. So what? Copying machines have been around for years. <coughs> you fool. If your hands get tired, <coughs> you can use these. Oh, <coughs> let me explain. <coughs> on one side of my machine, you insert photographs of the subject. And on the other side, you insert an encephalogram with the type of mentality you require. And it produces a robot clone of that subject with a completely different brain. For instance, if it falls into the wrong hands, top policemen could be duplicated with the brains of master criminals. Ooh. Holy cow, if it does what you say, we're in big trouble. Ooh. I can prove it works. I've already created a clone from a subject with a simple mind. Look for yourself. Oh, I'm seeing double. I hope you've given me a good brain, an atomic researcher, perhaps, or a space engineer. That would suit me fine. Oh. A donkey? <laughs> He's giving me the brain of a donkey. Oh, come here. Now, now calm down. Don't take it so personally. Tell me, doctor. <laughs> what do they eat? Chromosome jelly or DNA pie, maybe? Uh, no, no. Mm -hmm. uh, in this case, something far more suitable. Oats. Oh. Ah. Now, pull yourselves together, gentlemen, and you, Agent Moore, put the robot down. We have a serious situation on our hands. I had a call today from Camp Lito. Apparently, the Viscount of Weevil stopped by for a visit, but the Viscount Count is supposed to be on holiday in Patagonia, so... I got it! This Viscount must be a bacterium mm. robot copy! And that's not all. He's been biting people in the neck. It's my guess that whoever stole Dr. Bacterium's invention has given him the brain of a vampire. You've got to stop him before he sucks the count and count is dry and steals their jewels! Wait a minute. I will give you a special instrument that will lure any vampires. Well, I suppose we'd better try it out. Oh my gosh, that thing sounds like some stupid circus clown's trumpet. Hey! What's that? Oh, no! Oh, it's a good thing I found you. I gave you the wrong lure. This is the one for vampires. The other one is for elephants. Mr. L, mm -hmm. I wish to make an official complaint about those two ungrateful agents. 
Gee, this is some place Count Leto has, boss. Yeah, Mort. Hey, make sure you wipe your feet as you go in. Okay. Oh, thank goodness you're here. My wife's had all the blood sucked out of her neck. Her pearl necklace is only a three-stringer, but now she can wrap it around her neck seven times. Leave it to us, sir. Come on, let's go find this creep. Holy cow, look how he's gone to sleep. Yeah, just like a bat. Phew, he sure is ugly, boss. Yeah, he sure is. If I clap my hands together and wake him up, it might just shift him off his perch. Yeah. Oh. Apart from being ugly, he's got a real hard head. Wow! Ha. I'm glad I remembered to put on my anti-vampire steel collar. Holy garlic, now he's coming after me. Ooh. Here, catch, now he can't bite you. Now you won't get me, a vampire. Oh. 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 He got me, Mort. He bit my ah. ankle and sucked the blood Good out. Work. Boss, you know how bad your blood is, so I reckon he should fall over with blood poisoning in 10 or 15 seconds. So I'll give him blood poisoning when I... Calm down, boss, or you get high blood pressure and you haven't got much blood left. I'm really jealous of the way rich people eat. Just look at this plate of caviar. I love it. I'm sure they wouldn't miss a small mouthful. That's not caviar, it's toasted garlic. According to legend, one thing that vampires fear more than anything else is garlic. <laughs> I think it's time for someone's dinner. <laughs> Hold him still, boss. I'll let him have it. What's that? Yeah, what? This plate of garlic. What plate is do? <laughs> Good shot, boss. You charcoaled him better than one of Ophelia's burgers. Another case successfully completed by the TIA. The fake vampire of Icon file is now closed, Rupert. That's how the professionals do it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Agent Phil, what did you do? Sleep inside of a cornean? Agent Rupert just attacked me. Impossible. Rupert is on a mission in Peru, hidden inside a camera. Oh, now I understand why he made that strange noise. I've just been attacked by a robot replica of Rupert made on Bacterium's machine, and whoever made him has given him the brain of an elephant. As soon as Agent Mort gets back, I want you two to find that robot and destroy it. I don't know what's taking Mort so long. I only send him to get me some lunch. Here oh. I am, Chief. I got your tuna fish baguette. About time. They didn't have any napkins, so I wrapped it up in my handkerchief. Oh, huh? I didn't know it was quite so dirty. Well, there you are, Chief. You go ahead and enjoy your lunch. I'm just going to wash this engine oil off my hands. I had to fix the gearbox on my way back. Ouch! Huh? I never want to see What's the matter with him? I thought I did him a favor, and what does he do? He breaks my nose. Then he throws his fresh sandwich out of the window like it's contaminated or something. He can be so ungrateful. Oh, forget it. We've got a job to do. You know the tiny agent Rupert? He's been cloned by the villains who stole Bacterium's machine. He's incredibly strong, Mort. They've given him the brains of an elephant, and now Mr. L wants us to get rid of him. Oh, and... you can leave him to me, boss. A tiny tick like that will be huh? no problem. Oh, oh. Hey, Shorty, come here. I'm gonna cream you. Uh, uh, <gasps> poor Mort, he's lost his head. I haven't lost it. I just put it in a no? different place, that's all. Shall I get you an aspirin, Mort? A uh, shovel would be more useful than I could put my intestines back in the right place. Uh, <laughs> oh, that's better. Yup. Oh, I know. We can use a mouse to catch him. Mice terrify elephants. Ah, that's what I'm looking for. One of Dr. Bacterium's experimental mice. Off you go, you nasty little critter, and get after hey, that elephant. what are you doing with my laboratory mouse? It's highly dangerous. It's growing dynamite fur. One little knock and it could explode. <laughs> Polo, my little mouse, are you all right? <laughs> Mr. L, Agent Mort has been most unkind to my mouse. <laughs> Gotcha, elephant man! Ooh. This should do it. A poison cocktail. Some acid, sulfur, and bleach. Ah. Then I'll inject it into a carrot. Oh boy, there's enough poison in here to flatten ten elephants. All I have to do is leave it here and wait for the fireworks. Oh boy, I'm beat. Phew, if he catches me, I'm history. Oh brother. Hey, a nice juicy carrot. Now that's just what I need. This will give me a lot of energy. Come. No, boss, no! You shouldn't have eaten that carrot, you know. It was meant for Rupert the robot. Are you feeling okay, boss? Oh, dear! So much for vegetables being good for you. It's amazing. Our test showed there was enough poison in him to wipe out ten adult elephants. Really? Oh, dear. Oh! A few days on a dried fig diet will get you back on your feet. We've still got to knock off Rupert the robot. Hey, I just got a shocking idea.
These two lambs look perfectly ordinary, but in reality they are a deadly weapon. As Rupert walks between them, 2,000 volts of electricity will arc across and frazzle hey! him. Huh? So why is it that you have two lamps and I have none? Oh, don't touch them! Oh! Get out of my way! Oh, and you can forget about the bogus Rupert. Agent Molino got to him first. He roasted him. Oh, by the way, have you noticed a funny burning smell in here? It's really disgusting. Hey, have you two been overdoing the sunbed? You really should take it easy. You wanted a lamp, boss? Well, this one gets turned on in five minutes. Hey, you guys are crazy. I'll light up like a Christmas tree. Get me out of here. Where's my water? Idiot! Here you are, Chief. Fresh, sparkling spring water. I love this stuff. It's much cleaner than tap water. <laughs> ah, perfect. But why did it take you so long to get it? Well, when I bought the bottle, I noticed there was a dead lizard inside, so I had to get it out. It was lucky that I had this stick that I used to clean my cat's ears with. I managed to poke the lizard out with it. As for the glass... Well, my granny usually keeps her teeth in it, but she was wearing them. Lucky, huh? Hey, Chief! Why are you ripping that radiator off the wall? Boy, oh boy, is there a plumber in the house? I know I like thermal vests, Chief, but this is completely ridiculous! I've never known such a bad-mannered agent as Mort, the uncouth lout. Agent Phil, on the other hand, is very well-behaved, such good manners, and always courteous. Bam, bam, bam. Uh, 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 I spoke too soon, he's as bad as the rest of them. Uh, Mort, get in here! I'm thinking of sending you and your partner to charm school. Oh, no! I'm sorry, Chief, but he ran straight at me and tore your Rembrandt. Don't take it out on me, it wasn't my fault. Listen, Chief, I wasn't the one who was tearing around pretending to be a motorbike. Why don't you take it out on Phil? Wait a minute, that's not Agent Phil. It's obviously a robot copy that's been given the electric circuit of a motorcycle. Well, the original has only got the circuits of a duckbill platypus. Knock off the wisecracks and go no. knock off that fake agent before he runs us all over. Leave it to me, Chief. I've got just a thing to deal with hmm. him. This may seem like a dumb question to you, but tell me, why are you installing a lamppost in the middle of the office, Mort? It's a trap for the fake Phil. I've seen it in the movies. Whenever a motorbike is around, sooner or later it always crashes into a lamppost. Pretty clever, huh? You know, sometimes, Chief, I think my genius is completely lost on you. Hey, wait a minute. I just thought of another way to catch that imposter. These tin tacks will give him a blowout. Oh, what a deadly combination. Oil and tin tacks, guaranteed disaster. Mort, what's all this mess you're making all oh. over my floor? That tin tack trap was meant for Phil's double. You shouldn't have stuck your nose in. You useless, ham-fisted idiot. Wait till I get hold of you. There, that's installed. <laughs> this will fix that phony Phil. Are you moonlighting as a gas station attendant, Mort? This is official! Ah, ha, ha. So the TIA's gone into the gasoline business, huh? No, no, it's not like that, Beast Face. Well, seeing as you're open, I'll take a bucket full and fill up my car. Hey, that's not gasoline! Beast Face, it's nitroglycerin! Ah! Oh. I suppose you think that's funny. That guy has such an explosive temper. So there's a clumsy clone. Now's my chance. I got news for you, pal. Bombs and motorbikes don't mix. Take that! Mort, don't bother looking for that motorcycle model of Phil. He destroyed himself. He was traveling at over 100 when he hit an oil patch, skidded into a brick wall, and smashed himself to pieces. Chief, your timing's real lousy. Lousy? What you see, you I've just lousy? nuked the real Phil. Oh! I know you're hiding in here somewhere, Mort. If he finds me, I'm going to have to think about renting one of these things permanently. Here's your ice lolly. Thanks, I'm so hot and thirsty. How come there's no wrapper on this thing? Did you go to the budget shop for it? Oh, no, Chief. I took off the wrapper, you see. Uh, my dog has got distemper, and it's brought on a terrible fever. So I rubbed your ice lolly all over his nose huh? to bring down his temperature. Uh, distemper? Don't worry, Chief. After I rubbed his nose, I got him to lick it clean. Wow! Huh? Hello, what's that? The sports stadium? Okay, they'll be right over. Bye. Ugh. Hi, Chief. 
I found this in the storeroom, so I thought I'd give the telephones and you lick of paint. So you thought you'd repaint the phones? Well, I'm gonna repaint you! <laughs> That's not very funny, Chief. I only just washed my hair. Now listen, I want you to get over to the sports stadium. Some top athletes have been kidnapped and replaced with robot copies made by Bacterium's invention. Uh -huh. One has the characteristics of a snail, another a donkey, and another a magpie. Find the kidnapped victims and destroy those electronic athletes right away! Like a snail, a donkey, and a magpie, huh? Sounds like typical athletes. Huh, and they say athletics pulls in a big crowd. Come on, Mort, let's find the real athletes. I bet they're in this locker room. Look up there, we can climb in that open window. Huh? Oh, sure, and break our necks when we fall? No Wait. way! Look, see this mat? Huh? It's nice and soft so we can put it under the window in case we fall. <laughs> Don't you know that skydiving isn't recognized as an official event hey, in athletics? That's our high jump champion. Now he'll miss the big competition. No, no, if that guy catches me, I'll be the one for the high jump. I've been thinking, boss, why don't we just blow the door in? Are you crazy? Oh. Put that thing down, huh? Oh, There's two balls. Oh, well, I hit one of them back. Wow, what an explosive shot! <laughs> Oh, no! That's our top tennis player! He would have been a Wimbledon champion if it hadn't been for you! Well, I wasn't very impressed with his return of serve! Ah! Hey, look at this board! We can use it as a battering ram to knock down the door! Hmm! Cha! You're walking across the hammer-throwing track! Watch out! Huh? Hmm? Uh. Not so fast, boys! I've got something for you! Hey, I don't like the sound of that, boss! Just keep running and put a spring in your step! The kidnapped athletes! We found them! Hey! Stand well back from the door, because I'm going to blast it off its hinges! I bet they're glad to be breathing fresh air again! You incompetent fools! Look what you've done to my athletes! You've just blown up the boiler room along with three champions! They'll never win any more medals! Well, I think they just smashed the high jump record! Carnage at the sports stadium as two TIA agents decimate six top athletes. The search for the two P-brains continues. Just remember you promised me the first half hour with a... He's coming! He's coming! If he finds us, we'll be going, going to the graveyard. Oh. Here, Pippo, your master has made your favorite soup. This is bound to get your taste buds going. <laughs> oh, you use a spoon now, eh? That's very clever. You stupid mud owl! Oh, all right, I'll forgive you this time, but don't do it again, huh? Hey, that's a nice handkerchief. I wonder where he got that from. Hey, Chief, I like your patchwork jacket. Is that a new fashion or what? <laughs> hmm? Ah, Phil, have you seen my dog? He was carrying a razor and a blue handkerchief. Sure, I've seen him, Chief. Only now he's wearing a red scarf as well. A red scarf? But where did he get that? Mm, look! Wow! Hey, Mort, have you seen my dog wearing a red scarf and carrying a blue handkerchief? Yeah, not to mention huh? a razor blade. Oh, I don't believe it. My dog has always been a gentle pooch. Of course, that dog isn't my Pippo. It's a robot made by Bacterium's copying machine. And whoever kidnapped Pippo has given this dog the brain of a psychopathic hoodlum. We can't have oh. a mad dog running around headquarters. You've got to find it at once and destroy okay. it. Pulverize the crazy beast. Look, boss, there's the robot dog. Let's take him outside, connect him up to a power cable, and put 20,000 volts through him. Wait, there's no time for that, Mort. I'm just gonna wring his neck. Come here, boy. <laughs> huh? Ooh. On second thoughts, Mort, I think 20,000 volts is just what he deserves. Huh? Oh? Well, I think I'll try the sausage trap first. All I do is put the sausage in a rhinoceros trap and wait for him to... <laughs> Look what it's done to my huh? sniffer! That dog's gonna make fools of us, Mort. We've gotta come up with a surefire plan to exterminate that mangy mongrel. So what you got, Mort? You yeah. love this, boss. I used to be a trapper in Nebraska, you know, and this little device never fails. Ha! See this weighted razor-sharp guillotine? When that mangy mongrel goes for the bone, he'll be chopped in half before you can say, Down, boy! At last, that revolting robot is gonna get what he deserves. He's not gonna know what hit him. Bye-bye, little doggy! <laughs> There. That's a perfect granny stitch if ever I saw one. You should be grateful it was only your nose that got chopped off. I just had another idea. What? Let's use a noise detector flamethrower. When this thing hears a loud, sudden noise like a dog barking, it automatically aims itself and charcoals its victim. Hmm. Hey, uh, it sounds like we roasted that rancid robot. Let's go see it. Come on. Oh, oh no, it's me. 
I should have known you two were to blame. I thought the chief was pretty hard with us. It was the stick he used to beat us with that was pretty hard. That's it. The stick. Dogs love chasing after sticks you throw for them, don't they? So, we throw a stick that lands next to this time bomb that's set to go off just as the dog gets close. Lend me your pencil, boss, and I'll show you what I mean. Go on, boy, go fetch! Hey! That's my favorite pencil! What do you think you're doing, Mort? Boss, I don't want to alarm you, but I think you're a bit too close to the... Bomb! You girl, idiot girl, yeah! Keep your hair on, boss. I'm gonna get the brute with an all-out grenade assault. Watch what? this. Yeah, here's one for me. You phony pimp. It's the dog. You don't have to look any further for that robot dog, boys. Fortunately, it fell asleep on Ophelia's chair and she flattened him. Why are you two hiding hand grenades behind your back? My poor dog, Pippo, look what you've done to him. Holy mackerel, don't look backward. Just keep swimming out to sea. Keep your eyes open. I'm gonna start up the coffee machine again. Oh, okay, boss. Hmm? Hmm. Agent DOG-7 calling all units. I know where Bacterium's copying machine is hidden. Yeah, it's at number 27 Banana Street. Did you hear that, Mort? If we get over there and arrest those villains, we'll come out of this smelling of roses. Let's go. <laughs> Whoa, that stinks. Mort, can you hear me? Bring some soap. Hey, boss. Are you OK? I'm going to attack those villains in style. How about you? Oh, I bought a mail order machine gun kit. Aha. Uh -huh. Let's see. Ah, so this goes here, and um, screw it on. Um, this is really easy. <laughs> mm -hmm. No? <laughs> You're, you've been swindled. Ooh. I can see that. How are we going to get past that guard? Hey, leave it to me. I've got the perfect disguise. The Bill and the Breeze trick never fails. <laughs> huh? Hey, i never seen a $17.50 bill before. Ah. <laughs> oh, boy. Huh? They say money talks. Good work, Mort. Here comes huh? another sucker. This bill's just got to be a fake. It's got a picture of a chimpanzee on it. I'll destroy it. Uh, burn, baby, burn. You should take it easy, Mort, or you'll burn yourself out. <laughs> Leave this guy to me. You're under arrest. Huh? I am, am I? Yeesh. I'd like to see you arrest me when you're blown into a thousand pieces, because that's what's going to happen to you now. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> You're such a dummy. <laughs> Everyone knows you have to count down for an explosion, not up, you ding ball. Okay, wise guy, I know that, I know that. Now, here goes. Ready? Five, four. <laughs> Look, boss, the machine's working. Okay, Mort, you go and take out the photographs and tell me who's being cut, okay. and then I'll bash him. Well, what's the guy's name? Well, I know his face, but I can't remember his name. <laughs> My memory's not so good. Now, let's see. Huh? Now I remember it. It's Agent Gorillas Africanus, and they've given him the brain of the Boston Strangler. It's not good news. I sure wish you could have recognized him straight away, Mort. I've never been keen on wildlife. I'll call the chief. Well, at least we got the machine back. Huh? Hey, boss, why don't I organize a surprise reunion for Bacterium and his beastly machine? Well, Bacterium, we've got your machine back for you. Yes, and it seems to be working. I wonder who it's reproducing now. <laughs> oh, dear, it's highly irregular. Oh, what's this? Oh, no, no. We put in the photograph of a giant crab. Yeah, and we gave it the brain of the famous barber Sweeney Todd. Uh, no, no, not my dear, no.